Hey guys, welcome back to Car Buyer Singapore. You're probably wondering why I'm in a field in the middle of Germany with the Alps behind me. That's because today we're going to find out the meaning of the word Grand Touring Car. And we have a great example of the breed here with this, the BMW M850i. So to get you up the speed of the 8 Series, this car has actually been facelifted in the year 2022, um, BMW calls the LCI. Now because this lineup consists of exciting cars like the Coupe, the Convertible and this car is a 4-door Grand Coupe, not much has changed so it looks overall quite similar, a little bit different for the M body kit. Um, but you guys might have noticed this, this is the 50th anniversary BMW Motorsport badge and you can option that but it's a limited edition so a little bit special touch there. And also the grill looks largely the same but there's what BMW calls the waterfall lighting grill option for this. Now that might not pass buster in Singapore because of the LTA just like with the BMW i7 the electric vehicle which we showed in our preview previously but it does add a very dramatic touch to this car and it should be dramatic because it's a grand touring car. So the essence of a grand touring car is a car that should be SFC. What does that mean? Sexy, fast and also comfortable. And I think the M850 definitely has the sexy part down pat. Um, that starts with the proportions of the car. Now, a grand touring car typically has a large engine with a long flowing bonnet, nice muscular haunches. And you can see that the Grand Coupe has that. It looks just like the Coupe, just that it happens to have two extra doors behind for extra practicality. But we will have a look at the wheels here too as well. This is part of the 50th anniversary package, special wheels. Um, you can see the blacked out M mirrors, the M badge down there, air curtains as well. As we look down here, you see how long the car is, long and low and wide and flowing. So we definitely got the sexy part down. So it was uh, three degrees outside, so I'm quite glad to be in the cockpit of the uh, M850i Grand Coupe. And one thing about Grand Touring cars is that they should be sporty but also comfortable. And I think the Grand Coupe here strikes a nice balance. So you see how the cockpit kind of wraps around me, the driver. We have our M Sport steering wheel here, very important interface for the driver as well. We've got ambient lighting, a little bit of drama. Now with the LCI model, there's been tiny changes. I think the quality of the leather, these are M Sport seats by the way, also quite nice to look at and nice to sit in. Seat warmer, ooh, I can keep my pizza warm. But okay, to get back to the, <laughs> to the topic at hand, this screen used to be about 10.25 uh, inches, big cars in the BMW range. And to speak of that, just like the 7 Series, this car has the BMW display key which is really cool I mean nowadays you control everything with the app and the phone but oh this one has an M logo on it so slide up to unlock the display and like just like before you can set your departure time pre-call the car lock the car and check whether or not it's um it's been broken into so another cool dramatic touch um, so even when you're not in the car you take this put it on the table and you go wow look at that my key has a screen Ooh, okay, so as you can see, it wasn't really that hard for me to get into the car. And like I said, um, the coupe is for more selfish people. The grand coupe is for more generous people. And I don't know if you can see later, but the door opening is really quite generous for what is a coupe style vehicle. But um, you will also notice here that um, as always, I'm 1.73 meters tall and I have decent amount of legroom. Of course, this was my driving position. So if you're taller, there will be less, but really pretty good. And for a coupe style vehicle, we're always mindful of the headliner. Eh, that's not too bad. Yeah, a little bit of a cutting in on the side because of the sloping of the roof line, but it's still really comfortable. And I suspect on the road later on, I'll try it from the back seat on the move. It'll also still be really comfortable. But of course, this is a grand coupe and it's actually a two plus two. Although actually there is a seat belt here. By the way, this is an M seat belt and M sport seats as well. So you could technically have somebody here in the middle, but I wouldn't recommend it because your nether regions will become toasty or cold depending on where you are. So sexy, fast, comfortable, but we got sexy and we got fast right here because under the bonnet is a 4.4 liter bi-turbo V8. Now V8 
always very fun for a GT car. 530 horsepower and really, really quick in a straight line. I think zero to 100 below four seconds. Now we tried the M850 Coupe in Singapore and it really felt like riding a bicycle in your living room because this big, powerful, fast car is just too much for our small island state. But out here in Germany, in the Alps, we're gonna give it a go. Okay guys, we're behind the wheel of the M850i. Now remember our three letters, SFC, sexy, fast, comfortable. I'm gonna start with comfortable. Now this car is a big, wide car. It's about five meters long. As I said, when we drove the coupe in Singapore, coupe is shorter than this, but it feels like a big car, powerful car. But the interesting thing is this car is actually really quite easy to drive. And I chose a good piece of road to demonstrate this. This is actually an Alpine road um, going up and down the mountains. It's very tight as they, the roads often are in Europe. But you know, no problem here. Um, keeping to my lane, this car is very easy to drive. And um, now that I'm not in sport, it, the drive change of legs is comfortable. It's got one secret trick. Uh, well, two actually. One is adaptive suspension, but it's quite common these days. The other is integral active steering, basically four-wheel steering. Now, you know how it works. Um, in tight corners in parking, the, the wheels go opposite directions, make it shorter uh, wheelbase virtually. But in long, faster corners, we get very, very stable handling with very, very precise um, and easy characteristics. So it doesn't feel big, it doesn't feel long. And another thing this car has is um, X-Drive all-wheel drive. So more than 500 horsepower tends to be tricky, um, especially if you're not a super experienced driver, but X-Drive makes this car really straighten out nicely. But that's the comfortable bit. So if I go to sexy mode, AKA sport mode, um, there's another trick the car has. So it's got sport and there's this thing called sport individual. So I can tweak each part of the car to my liking. I have, you know, damping in sport. I want comfort steering. I don't want the transmission to be so clunky junky. Yeah, I can have everything I want. But um, to get to my point, so if you want to cover hundreds and hundreds of km, like you do on a Grand Tour, you know, you got to sometimes change things up just to make it a little bit uh, more fun for you. So in the era of the electric car, you know, we can Hans Zimmer the hell out of everything, but they will never really sound like this. Ooh. <laughs> and that's only second gear, you know, I mean, the road's a bit tight, but uh, yeah, maybe we'll get more of that on the Autobahn later. Okay, we're out here on slightly wider roads and um, you know, the ME50 feels quite at home on roads like this. So up there in the mountains just now, I think, um, you know, it's good, but still a wide, heavy car. But sometimes when you do start to push it, you do feel a little bit of how heavy this car is. But I said the MA50 has quite a few tricks to help you. So that's uh, all-wheel steering, adaptive suspension, uh, very strong brakes as well, of course. And it makes the 530 horsepower uh, feel not so scary, but quite smooth. It's X-Drive as well, so in those really sharp corners, you're powering out. You, know, you don't get any squiggle, it's very, very composed. So I think over a long distance, this really helps you um, drive in a more composed manner, which is what you want a GT to do. So you always have that spectrum, you know, GT on one hand, sports car on the other. And the difference between a GT and a sports car, at the end of the day, you arrive in a sports car, you can't walk properly, you're like a pretzel, you hobble along like 80 years old, you know? I don't know, something like a, maybe an MA would feel like that, but I haven't tried it anyway, so how would I know, right? Here I am in the back of the M850 Grand Coupe on the move, being very kindly driven along by my colleague who has not gone crazy behind the wheel. So thank you very much, Mr. Chang Ruff. So as I pointed out just now, there's quite a lot of legroom in the back. Um, and I was a bit uh, afraid of the ride quality, but um, you know, this car running pretty sporty wheels, low profile wheels, uh, adaptive M suspension setup, but it's actually really comfortable right here in the back. And I mean, I'm using this gimbal to record and I'm not hurling or feeling sick. So we've got the whole um, comfortable part down, uh, down pat pretty good. It made 50 i from the back. You know, you could even do a decent impression of a chauffeur driven car in the 7 Series. Although it's not quite as comfortable, you know, still a little bit more uh, intimate or closed in. But you know, that is okay in a grand touring car like this. Okay, uh, we're out here um, on the Autobahn and you know, a big GT like this, really at home on wide sweeping roads, 
you know, where you're not probably not going to crash into anything. And uh, right now, we're feeling very comfortable, very confident. Can cover lots of ground quickly, like a GT should. I'm going at about 130, but it really feels like, you know, like a normal car in Singapore at 90. But it's really composed. And again, because of the design of the car, by like aerodynamic, um, the adaptive suspension, and again, we're in sport mode. And since we're on the unlimited section of the Autobahn, I'll try going a little bit faster. But uh, there's quite a bit of traffic, so we'll see what we can do. Okay, now let's go. 120 on Autobahn, let's go. Come on, get up. So we're doing a calm and collected 200 kilometers an hour. Someone got in my way. Okay, back up to 180, 190, 95, 100, 110. Alright, 20. Very, very calm and collected. <laughs> so this is unlimited two-lane carriageway on the Autobahn, but uh, that felt really calm. Aside from the soundtrack, very smooth car and very fast. So another thing I really like about the M850i, at least in the spec that we're running, is the fact that um, there are a lot of assistance systems on board. So besides the usual stuff like navigation, we also have the adaptive cruise and the lane keeping assist to help you um, keep distance and lane from uh, when you're on the autobahn. So one thing you should know about the autobahn is not freaking unlimited speed wherever you go. There are some sections that come down to 80 to 100 to 120 depending on um, road conditions and what the authorities think is safe. So uh, right now we're doing it 100 so um, 100 is nothing to car like this. And it's a, bit, it's a bit of a drudgery actually. Uh, we're coming back to the meeting, like I said, traffic's a bit heavy. If I want to, I can just turn on my adaptive cruise, let the car keep the lane. Of course, my hands are always on the wheel. Keep the lane, keep the distance. Um, then I don't have to pay so much attention. So during the boring parts of grand touring, the not so grand touring, grand touring, and touring, ND touring, you know what I mean. You can let the car do some of the work. Alright, so I've ended up in another field after my fast, sexy, comfortable drive with the BMW M850i. And does it tick all three boxes? I think we've shown that it does. Fast, without a doubt. Um, sexy, due to the design and the way it makes you feel. Comfortable, definitely in the front seat and the back. And I think the last thing I want to say is, this is a grand touring car with a lovely V8. I think it's something that will become increasingly rare in future. If you ever get the chance to drive a car like this, please take it with both hands, find a nice piece of road that's really wide and go wild.